always deep, so so I knew it was good. Because, uh, and I read it, and, and it was good. It was really good. Uh, uh, family relationships just worked. And you wouldn't think you could take it that far and make it work, but it did It did read that well. And, and it read almost Shakespearean in, in, in certain ways. Uh, the emotions, the waves were big. And uh, at the end of it, uh, uh, I was really moved, but I, I didn't know a damn thing about MMA. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was just kind of sick of hostility and, and brutality and beat up. I, I, I just, I'm old. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't fight anyway. So I, I got to claim I'm on the side of peace now. Because uh, I'm going to get beat up bad. <laughs> so I called Gavin and I said, geez, this is really great. I mean, it's really great, Gavin. I said, but do we really, really have to do MMA fighting? <laughs> and he said, oh, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. He said, but wait until you meet these guys, meet their friends, meet their father, meet their mother, go hang out with them on the street, go see who they are, see what they do, and then if, if it's like a phony baloney thing, then, then okay. But I think you're going to find that these are kids that you do on the, in the neighborhoods that have just taken it to another level. They're like your AAU wrestling kid that starts out in high school, goes on into college, and he ends up speaking huh? middleweight champion of AAU wrestling. And except then they add other disciplines, boxing and this and this and this and this and this, get stacked onto it. So then, okay, all right, okay, now we've got real fighting discipline in the in the violence, and then I can see it working, and then. Then it was kind of easy for me, except I didn't know a damn thing about any of the other disciplines. I grew up in Iowa, so I knew how to wrestle. You know, that's all we ever did in Iowa. You know, I had some amount of that agriculture state. But you used to come, I mean, I, I, you would come over to the house and watch the fights with me. All, that was, I think, the beginning of your education, right? Well, that was Just your sneaking it in. Has your opinion changed? Do you still feel that way about it? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, li I don't watch it now. I like to watch it now. Yeah. Uh, it's a different a different thing. I look at it in different eyes. You know, I, I, I like boxing, you know, and I used to like it, to watch a lot of boxing. And then I got so I didn't want to watch boxing so much anymore. But... Uh, and then after I get when I started following the MMA, I, I liked it. You know, I got to like it, and then you know, then you start getting into following a certain guy in a certain mm -hmm. class, and it's got all that kind of stuff going on for it. Uh, but it, it, and it's more complicated than boxing, and it's uh, I mean, if you got a guy that can choke you out, you know, you can win by a chokehold. You know, yeah. so it's. It's a different, different, different whole discipline. Uh, I can't say I love it. <laughs> you know, I'd like to, but I can't say I love it. I mean, I, I'm doing a series called Luck, and I can't say I love resource. I mean, you know. Uh, well, but you, must, you must have loved the character, though. Too. Yeah, I love the character. I mean, you know, what he wrote was was our families. You know, all our families in the in the in, in the exaggerated dimensions. You know, and it just all doesn't go smooth in our families. You know, we're we're not. In fact, the universe wouldn't work if it was perfect. It just wouldn't work. It has to be not perfect, and we're not. We're byproducts of non-perfection and uh, that's an absolute necessity and that causes us to squabble and, and mess around and stuff like that. Now, I've seen <laughs>